Hello everyone and welcome back to Nakai and his spanking paddle. And I think we're gonna give Zhao Ming a good old spanking because he is really hurt from attrition. And he's holding two cities that we really want for our first victory condition. So hopefully he doesn't run too far away when we pass the turn because I really just want to kill him. Plus, holding two cities that we need to win, you better believe that's a spanking. And also, he's got a pretty good defeat trait, which is gonna give uh, all of our units a little bit of armor, so that's just gravy on top of everything. And we're also gonna do our first quest battle today. We're just gonna find an opportunity where we're feeling healthy and we're not about to fight someone else. So probably not next turn, but hopefully pretty soon. So let's just pop you in, in back into encamp stance, because I just wanted to get a shot where he's not a floating pyramid. And we're gonna pass the turn here. And it's like he's asking us to kill him. Just look at him. He's right in front of us. Alright. Your noble slan mage priests have devised a ritual that will give every even ordinary skinks increased immunity against some of the foul diseases lingering in the territories overrun by the vile servants of the great horned rat. However, they must still be defended against other threats in the abandoned temple cities. Ground could be regained this way, though troops would have to be committed in the skink's defense. So we don't really take attrition as long as we got encamp stance, so we just the troops cannot be spared. So that's fine. Uh, I don't think there's anything we want to build, but we are just one turn away from being able to upgrade our main, well, our main horde building. So yeah, let's uh, actually. Who are you at war with? Is it just the vampires? No, okay, it's <laughs> it's Nurgle. Oh shit, Nurgle is here. We don't know about Nurgle, but we do know about Clan Eshin, so... How about you pay me to join... Well, no, no, Western Provinces. That's who we want to fight. Does that put us over? No, we're so close. But uh, just fighting this is going to be more than enough from what we need to get there. So, we'll hunt you down. You ran far away. <laughs> All right. And we're obviously gonna fight this. I wanna, I wanna spank Xiao Ming, personally. And you do have some celestial dragon guards, but they're pretty hurt, so they shouldn't be a problem. These can hurt though. Damn, that is a lot of missile strength. Yeah, they're gonna hurt too. All right. <laughs> Ooh, and can I hide skinks back here? I think I can. Yes. Oh, if only you had uh, Vanguard as well. But we can definitely go down and surprise them. Which is going to be very nice because we have to trek all the way up this steep old hill. So that's going to be fine though. We got our thick boys ready to fight. Get Nakai up front. Spread these guys out a little bit. Um, I mean we can have a little bit of a skin core back here. I do want to separate them a little bit though. Like so. Uh, put you in group 4. Set up some of these over there. Run up that flank. Oh, you should be group 2. There we go. We'll run you up, actually. Um, you get to join them. Because there's more room to maneuver over there, so we can actually fit you over there. We'll be group 5. And you will be in group 1. There we go. So, start that battle. Start marching you up. Run you up the flank, run you up the flank, and run you up. Oh, wait. Dang it. <laughs> I want you to be a little bit separate. But we're also gonna get... Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you're shooting the Kai with it. All right, that's not gonna hurt them. <laughs> we're fine. All right, let's get ready to get into their lines there. Sorus Scara Veteran is faster than everything else, it seems. We got a sprinter. Alright, you need to just dodge a little bit, because I don't want you to go in all by yourself. All by him, say a yell. Alright, and now we attack. Now we send... Oh shit, they found us! Oh shit, they found us! Well, we got shields on those guys, that is fine. Let's send you in over there, we'll charge you in the flank. Let's get you over there. You over there, and you over there. Yeah, you're fine. Look at these guys. 
shooting their exploding little darts and walking through. Where the hell are you going? Alright. Ooh. And that guy versus the, the old dragon here. That's a fun one. So, do we have a good Cassandora here? No, not really, but we can buff up Nakai at the very least. That's long my riders. Ugh. Uh, let's help out with that. Let's get some anti large in there. You're taking a lot of damage. I don't like it. Let's blow these guys down. And watch the good girls rip the wings out of these horses. Which is a weird sentence. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, you should be fine. Um, is that? Yeah! Oh, you're beating the shit out of Zhao Ming. Oh no, finish him off! Splat him! You, splat him! <laughs> Let's shank him down. You can do it. Just need one more shank and you're done. Yeah, you're, you're you're fine. We we haven't lost that many entities, and that seems to be army losses. Yeah, there goes Zhao Ming. That's a big old worm. Yeah, that was that was a good fight. You took a little bit of damage there, but well, so did one of the others. But that's fine. There we go. Didn't expect these guys to get discovered so quick, but that is perfectly fine. We're we're just gonna grab the money. I don't think. I don't think we need to grab anything else. And, well, first of all, you leveled. So let's grab. Prob. Hmm. I mean, it's really nice to have combat stats once we get on the Stegadon. But the shooting is always good, so let's just. Let's just get the missile strength, I think. And it's fine if they just sit back and shoot. And I don't know why I tried to box this, but we got a bunch of armor, which is great, and we get magic item drop chance, which is also great. So, that's a valiant defeat. We're gonna start getting some siege towers there, and hopefully they come out to fight. Because I would love it if they come out to fight. I feel like they should be brave enough to come out to fight, because we take that in the field. But I think they think that they take it in the field. I hope they think that at the very least. Let's find out. And they are coming out to fight. Excellent. Oh, we're getting so many fun fights in this episode. Alright, we go and fight that. Alright, so I don't think there's any reason to throw these guys in the back. They're just gonna get murdered by hex raids, so we're probably just gonna put them in the front line. And I guess this is kind of fine. Um, I think we're just gonna... Embrace the blob here. And just do it like so. Because uh, the vampire counts, we kind of just want a big blob that we can come on Cassandora and wind blast and have a good time. Throw you in there as well, of course. Uh, probably send like three of you over there. Seems like we have more room here because of, the, because of that mountain. Have you hang out over there. Oh, that's gonna confuse me. Let's do two, because it's two and three. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you're gonna be group one. We're gonna have you in the front just to shoot your things, and then we'll back off with you. And uh, separate you in just a little bit, like so. And you'll be group four. There we go. And uh, we'll just move up and take this hill, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is great. So let's actually like set up a little bit like that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, throw you up on the flank. Let's start running you up on the flank. And we might have to start pulling back with you, actually. Fall back. But I still want the hill here, so you stand there. You fight there. And are you seriously gonna attack me with bats? Alright, <laughs> I'll take that fight. This is a bunch of skeletons, so let's just run up the flank here. Alright, that's fine. Get some volleys off, please. And just get into position here, and... Uh, ah, there we go, you can fall back a little bit. Go smushing. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff here. But it's mostly... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's mostly bats. All right. I'm fine with that. That's going to be more bats. All right. That's fine. And now we're being attacked from all angles. Well, that's fine. Now we can fight in all directions. Oh, and that is a pretty nice first combat of Cassandora here. Alright, first, before... That's fine. That's fine. Alright. So we don't miss this. And... Cause blues, uh, we kind of missed a little bit. We well, did okay damage at them at the very least. And we are murdering these guys. So that's fine. So, kill these bats, please. We'll uh, deal with those skeleton warriors in a sec. But it's still just crypt ghouls and zombies and bats. So, I think we just pulled back here, though. They're gonna crumble. It's gonna be fine. Um, you just rampage these guys. Now we go. Get in, murder you. Um, you are actually not terrible at fighting, so let's send you after the vampire here. Let's charge you into the hex raids. No, not you. Um, I thought that was a Saurus. Let's send you in. Send you in. And that's gonna be fine. We're doing great. You're working on that. Let's try to just finagle you out of here because I don't want you to fight these I want you to charge in the rear these guys I just want you to smush in over here and just do as much damage as you can you get in there and fight I want another comet though so no dang it <laughs> I can't aim so in eight seconds we get another comet you're pretty much there and yeah you you can charge in there let's flank around more with these but that's a pretty pretty good charge you go and hit those crypt crypt guards oh yeah you're dying here get loose we got the comet Le oh my that's a no-brainer right so hit this and then we charge in oh this is gonna be gorgeous just explode these guys off of the mountain. Oh yeah. And now we send in the, the raptors. Alright, that was pretty good. Uh, you're routing, that's honestly fine. You're loose, so let's send you in over there and Oh now we really want another one. <laughs> you need to <laughs> you need to get magic faster here. Alright, can can we just get you in there skin chief is running that's fine they're gonna do that that's just what they do oh shit Nakai you need to come over here and help our caster is being murdered uh, we do have a Saurus veteran over there and can we just spread you out all right what are you feral cold ones feral cold okay some, some of our cold ones broke. That's okay. Convenient stalkers broke. That's okay. Charge. Charge. And uh, we need two more mana. Oh, and this guy is getting her ass beat. Nice. That is excellent. Are you routing? Yeah, you are. All right. Well, that's fine. Because those are dead. Um, we can lower that cooldown and just get another Cassandora right there. That's pretty alright. Let's go and attack over there. Let's just sit there and shoot. Oh, actually, you can hunt you and just start shooting, yeah. And... Oh, shit, that hit mostly us, I think. <laughs> oh, well, actually, that was still a really good hit. But we did <laughs> hit our Saurus Warriors, I think. Whoops. All right. Oh, we still have some ammo to shoot there. All right. You hang out over there and shoot your ammo. Start shooting you. And we do have this. But that was, that was a rough fight. But we're fine. So, charge you in over there. Who's sleeping? You're sleeping? No, 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 no. That's not allowed. Uh, pop some of that. Pop some of that, I think. Yeah, keep shooting you. That's gonna be fine. Oh, we're getting a little bit sandwiched here, though. That's okay. Uh, for a wind blast, we need 11 mana. That's alright. We can do that. Let's pop the rampage. There shall be no running, only rampaging. <laughs> well, you can run, I suppose. That's fine. 
I allow running when it's necessary. And we're getting some damage there. Actually, do you just do no more damage if we let you go in and fight? I think that might be the case. So send you in over there. These are thoroughly surrounded and uh, murdered. Excellent. And I think that is army losses, actually. Oh, well, these guys are mad. <laughs> they, they're in for round two. Get him, guys. Excellent. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is very reasonable. How many kills? Only 257. Hmm. Well, we did a lot of damage with the comets. 66,000. Yeah, so pretty alright damage. We just didn't get that many kills with it. That's alright. That is a very dead garrison. And that is just really cinematic. Like, just a smaller army holding the hill. And fighting off hordes of uh, undead, unholy warriors. That was awesome. And that's pretty good for one of our Sarus Scar veterans. We do need to get them some uh, melee attack. But yeah, that was that was fun. That was an excellent fight. And we are gonna give that to these guys. We're just gonna give us protection of Quetzal, which I am gonna have to remember to use that. That is pretty nice to have. And we got our second quest battle. Alright, so... <laughs> we got things to do, I suppose. Ogham's Shard. Yeah, we definitely want the the other one first. That's kind of lame, honestly. The replenishment is good, but... Yeah, that's kind of lame. Alright. So... The... Vampires are dead. That is excellent. And uh, now we start marching on these guys. But this shouldn't be that bad. Oh, and it's about to rebel. Alright, so I think we're just gonna go and... Uh, stand, like, right... Actually, we can just stand right, like, right there. Finish leveling that. Grab the replenishment, and then we grab Renown and Feared. Just in time to start doing this. Although, we can get this now, I think. But... Uh, it's no, no point in rushing, I think. There's nothing insanely good, I think. The horde growth is fine. Uh, this character becomes able to see enemies hiding in forests regardless of distance. Ooh, that's neat. I don't think it's gonna matter that much, but it's pretty neat. And exceptional offense is really nice. So, that's pretty good. But yeah, nothing like game-breaking that we really need to get here. It's mostly just combat stuff and I think we're doing pretty good in combat so not too worried about that so we're definitely gonna keep grabbing that because I want to make it cheaper and I want to be able to overcast it because uh, well that's just the, on the one thing that's better than a Comet of Cassandora is an overcast a Comet of Cassandora so let's just uh, actually we probably want some defense on these even though even though they might uh, be just... Well... Even though they might be better with this. But I want them to live. So that's more important than them, them doing a lot of damage. But we're also gonna go and give... Um, grab that. We're gonna give you Sword of Strife because you need it more than Nakai does. Uh, Talisman of Protection and we'll give you a an Enchanted Shield. There we go. We are gonna grab that. And we're probably just gonna sit. Well, this is fine. We can go and take that next turn either way. Doesn't matter if we're in friendly territory or not. No, not really. Might as well go as close as we can. You might even come over to help. And um, we'll see if that helps. <laughs> either way. There is going to be a rebellion, so maybe they'll even do a little bit of damage. And we got some regiments. So we definitely want to get this. And we might want to get this as well. These are pretty sweet. But yeah, we're just going to pass the turn here. Alright, so they didn't come to defend it, and... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's annoying. I guess we're going to have to fight both dragons. Because I did plan on taking stuff from you. 
I guess we are gonna finish off Xiao Ming first and then go and fight Skaven. And then I suppose we start killing Miao Ying? God, I'm so bad at their names. For what frickery yeah, Miao Ying, look at me knowing names. Alright, so they didn't come to defend, and we did finish that though. Do we want recruitment cost or do we just Oh actually we can we can afford this now. And I just wanna keep going down this line, I think. What do we get over here? Skink stuff, Sorrow stuff, monster and rider stuff and well not monsters. Reptiles and ridey stuff. And big stuff. And there's the Croxigors. Alright, so I guess if we're... Although this is mostly just recruit, rag, right? I don't know if we want that. I think we just kind of want to go along this. What do we get from these? There's some research rate. Do we just go to top, honestly? And how do we get these? We're supposed to get these somehow. Oh, I bet we can... No, sequence commitment. Oh, we can probably start here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we just need a bunch of... Uh, favor of the old ones. And then we can start grabbing these things. Which buffs Croxigors. Random stuff. And that's... That's pretty good. And there's a use for alignment. So that's nice. So yeah, we definitely want that. And this is buffing Nakai. Alright. So I do want some of the favor of the old ones for that. And I guess this was the important ones. Because these aren't that interesting. And that's not a lot of uh, tribute from Vassal. So I think we're kind of done with that. I do want the weapon strength and missile strength for skink, so let's do that. I think that's nice. And that gives us time to just get to this, and then we can start uh, buffing our Croxigors. So I think that's pretty good. So we got lots of stuff to upgrade here. But we should be able to just waltz in here, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight that. That is easy. We gift that. That is... So close to the fourth rank, but that does give us blessed Croxigors, although that is that is a lot of our favor, which we need for our tech. Ooh, we can actually reach that. Alright. Do we want to though? Because we need to take this as well. Oh! Oh no, that's gold to <laughs> <laughs> that looked like Oxyodl for to me <laughs> for a second. And I was like, why is Oxyodl here? I guess he teleported and did some stuff, but he never does that. But no, it's just similar. And I'm bad at flags. I mean, I guess we can still take this and then run down. And then we go north again. I guess that's fine. And you fight... No, wait. You still do stupid stuff, but at least you're not going over to <laughs> to Wurzag, so that's nice. Alright, you know what? They're giving us such a good opportunity here, so I'm just gonna take it. We're gonna go and murder these guys. We're gonna give it to Quetzal. And that gives us the blessed Temple Guards if we want it, but it also gives us income for post-battle loot, which is great. So now you just go into a camp stance. And I think we're gonna do the quest battle next turn. Because we're gonna be just fine and healthy. Ooh, Legion of Shakwa. Now we're starting to get all the good shit. But yeah, we're I mean we're definitely gonna get the the holy boxing gloves, right? Because these are fucking sweet. I kind of would like these. They're good to just mix in with Croxigors, buff them. They're unbreakable. They do Really good. Well, they do pretty good damage. It's all armor piercing. They do bleed. They got pretty good stats. Really good health. And with the armor we're buffing, then that's pretty good. So I kind of really like these guys. So I think we're going to merge these. And... Uh, 
Let's see, how do we want to do this? Do we just go down another feral cold one? Grab you and you? Maybe. Well, we're gonna figure that out next turn, I think. But I'm gonna keep a couple of cold ones at the very least because I like to have the mobility, but uh, a bigger front line isn't bad either. So just pass the turn. Alright, I realized we had a lot of buildings to upgrade. Although we don't have the infinite, <laughs> um, infinite surplus, so we can't just do that. And honestly, I don't think we need this anymore. Uh, we're not gonna... I don't think we're gonna get many more Saurus. We can still keep this, I suppose, but I don't think we're gonna upgrade that. We are gonna upgrade this, though, probably. Because we need the post-battle loot. We do need the campaign movement range, so let's start with that. We are also gonna have to level you a bunch, so... Gr okay, we need to level you once. But we get upkeep, we get uh, campaign movement range and a bunch of uh, nice bonuses, as you always do. Let's finish off co Comet. Just want that cheaper. Got blade shield. Blade shield. Uh, you're done with shooting. Well, you still need that. And finish shooting. We are gonna grab the... The holy boxing gloves. And I think we're getting rid of a cold one. Maybe not... Well... I think these two have the lowest XP. So I guess we get rid of you. There we go. And let's grab ourselves those guys. There we go. Don't have as much uh, flanking potential anymore. But we still have plenty of flanking and we got uh, better fighting. So that's fine. Plus we could start flanking with these guys. They do have mounts, so yeah. But let's start with the golden tributes. Because that's... Well, we're gonna get 5,000 from either of these. But it lowers our upkeep. Gives us ward save, middle defense, and the golden tribute. So that's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, that's just all allies in range. That's just really good. Everything gets damage resistance. I love it. So that's a perfect victory. Oh my god, that is a lot of, uh, <laughs> of uh, undead. Luckily, these are mostly as normal fighty zombies. Death Guards and Mortars are not our best friends. No, we don't have the... Oh! We got a bunch of... Fur oh, or we gotta make sure that some of these don't die. Oh, no, I know what... Oh, I know which one this is. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Is he even talking? <laughs> it's, just a, it's in danger. <laughs> I guess that was his speech. I mean, he's got away with words. Yeah, alright. Ooh, they got two solar engines. Oh, I want to see the solar engines. <laughs> alright, so yeah. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed that any of these lose. One of them are is... Uh, Wait, which one is it? Krokgar or Gorok? I think it's Krokgar. No, it's Gorok. Pretty sure it's Gorok. Either way, uh, I don't think any of them are allowed to die, and then a huge army is gonna come in the back, so... This is gonna be a rough one. We might just... Because, I mean, we beat this, right? There's some rotting Prometheums with gunners. There's the Depth Guards. And yeah, so we get the big army, which makes sense. We do have the protection of Quetzal, which is nice. And how are you doing over here? I mean, they should win this, right? We don't have to... well, mate. Hmm. It is mostly zombies. Yeah, I don't see you losing this. And Gorok. Just a bunch of Sauras. A couple of Bastillodons and some Temple Guards against Clan Rats. R oh, Rattling Guns. And war uh, war clock Warplock Gisales. And Storm Vermin. I mean, I hope you win that. We'll see. There's some Scurvy Dogs back there. 
I think we might send these guys over to help. And the rest we just uh, do the standard murdering stuff here. Um, yeah, just just uh, go and murder. No, oh, dang it. I hate it when it does that. Just... Alright, fine. Everyone, just move up. <laughs> do what you can. Um, all of... Well, you guys. I guess you'll be in group two. Just... Uh... Oh, actually, if you can go and kill you, that would be great. Move up. And just go and murder these rotting Prometheans. You got really good anti-large. So, let's see how that works out. Get up there. Our defenses are engaged in several locations. Keep the large large enough force alive to survive the main assault. Yeah, and we're gonna work on that. I don't know what your plan is here. Oh, you're gonna go and fight rat hoggers. That's fine. You're sitting back and shooting. That's okay. Wait, what? Move it, you idiots. Alright, well, go and fight over there. We're doing what we can. I don't know what path you're taking, but that's fine. Yeah, go and murder you. That's gonna be fine. And yeah, get on top of you. That's gonna be great. Gonna take a lot of damage from their mortars. But, I mean, if we can just walk around them, it's gonna be great. Yeah, get in there. Start murdering. Get murdering. Get murdering. Uh, let's make you invulnerable. Let's get you fighting there. Get you fighting there. And just, just rampage these guys. It's fine. Let's wind blast these guys. We should do pretty good damage to this. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, the Death Guard is going down. You're taking a lot of damage. Let's pull you back. Probably need a buff on something, but we're taking these guys out. That's excellent. Yeah, just blast them with your shit. Go through and just kill what you can on the way. But just fight as many things as possible. Oh, uh, go and kill those scurvy dogs. You go and help out with those clan rats. It's gonna be good. Excellent. You're taking lots of damage here. Uh, do you have... Yeah, you have that thing. That's just Comet of Cassandora in the middle of that. But yeah, these are all going down. That is excellent. Let's see if we can grab one of these and send you over. Probably grab one of those too. Ah, uh, yeah, we did some damage there. Excellent. Now you go and help over there, because we've gotten you off all of your things. You need to fall back. Go and help with that. Go. Oh, wait, you're the... You're the Red Crescent. We'll, uh, we'll keep you there. You fight the big thing. You help out with the big thing. Send you in over there now. And here comes the main force with Luther. So, yeah. This is what we need to survive. Uh, you finished that. Let's go and help out with that, because they do seem to have some problems still, which isn't great. And we still need to finish all of this so we can go and kill Luther. But I think we're doing pretty alright here. The Death Guard is a problem. Oh shit, you, you need to get out of there. I don't want you to die here, please. <laughs> get you out. I wish I had healing. And Death Guard, whole arms. Ugh. Oh, and they're... They got magic, too? That's unfair. Alright, well, you broke. That's honestly fine. These depth cards are breaking. Let's, uh... Well, let's hold you up. You fight these guys. I think most of them are crumbling now, though. And yeah, all of these have to survive, so... Oh, we seem to have broken most of that. We're getting our clever girls in here, dealing with that. That's good. We need to kill that. Yeah, we are winning that, but... 
Are we winning this? There's a lot of depth guard and shit coming in. We do still have quite a bit of healthy units here, so that's nice. I don't think you're coming back. Make sure. And, oh, I just missed the comment of Cassandra, but we seem to be winning that as well. So that's fine. Um, yeah, all of you are crumbling. Make sure you're dead. Yeah, they're dead. So run over there. Anyone who can move fast enough to go and help, go and help. And yeah, get on top of you. Make sure you don't come back. Let's get on top of the storm vermin. You're breathing on Gorok, very rude. Oh, they got carronades and shit there. Um, I think... Yeah, you, you got this. You, you got that. Probably make sure that your sails don't come back. But I think we can grab these. Start running down here and getting into their artillery. I think that's reasonable. You can probably stay there though. Because I don't want you to die. The skinks we can replace pretty easily. But we can't replace the sacred coxigors because they're awesome. Yeah, not a fan of these... Uh, Depth guards, but all of these are shattered, so that's good. Yeah, get you into the back line is gonna be huge. Just taking out the mortars and cannons and deck gunners, it's gonna be great. You're pretty quick. All right, let's uh, see if we can get you in there doing some stuff. You're not slow, but you're not fast. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna speed up until we actually get to do something here. Oh, and actually, we got a really good, really good opportunity to hit these guys. We can do it with one. The other one, go and hit over there. But yeah, you're gonna go down really fast. Some deck gunners over there. Uh... Wait, where did I... Oh, I sent them over there. Alright, perfect. Just line up. Uh, you get out of there. You get on top of the carronades. You go and help out with the mortars. A lot of stuff happening over here. You better hold out. <laughs> oh, can I do that on you? Oh, that's not... That's not him. Alright, well, that's fine. <laughs> that's gonna have to be alright. So the carronades are going down here. You're getting attacked by deck... No, I don't like that. Oh, get on top of the deck gunners there. Let's get you over there. You can help out with that, though. And I guess we fight these depth guard here. I guess chameleon skinks. Uh, you go in and fight here. You go in and fight here. They are halberds, so it's not a good fight for us. But we take that fight anyway, because we outnumber them. You push through, start killing these guys. You got routed, that's fine, honestly. Yeah, just kill that. Get you on the deck gunners. And... Yeah, that's fine. Where's the rest of our stuff? Alright, they're getting into position there. Uh, okay, let's uh, run you up over there. Because they are <laughs> they're shooting us with their deck droppers. Not a fan of that. But get you in over there. We are shutting down all of their artillery. They are still alive. They're hurt, but they are still alive. We're about to get Nakai into the deck gunners. I would love to send them back in here to just clobber these. But we are beating them at the very least. So, uh, so there's that. Um, we should probably send you up here. But we can he heal you. Well, not heal you. We can give you some defenses. We need to send you up over there. You're deep. Oh, what? No! No! Shit! Fuck you, it's a... <laughs> Crap. This is a hard fight. Alright. The worst part... 
is that we were gonna win that if fucking Itza could hold on. <sighs> Alright, well, I guess we're gonna do that another time, but we got 10,000 experience, so there's that. We did lose a guy, which, which sucks. Uh, can we get him back? No, but we can get a skink chief if we wanted to. Might just want one running around doing shit. That's a lot of armor piercing damage, though. Vigorous for cold ones, pterodon riders, reproductors, blah, blah blah blah. For rank 7 above. What is vigorous? Oh, it just gets vigor back. Well, that makes sense. Well, hero action success chance. Let's grab that. We're gonna run around and mess with people. And uh, I guess we're gonna go towards that. And we're gonna have to re recruit some stuff because we did lose a couple of comedian skinks as well. Oh, what happened to our good recruitment? I think I think we were able to to recruit like three, four at a time. And now we can can't get Croxigors. Did something just click into place <laughs> or something? I'm pretty sure we could recruit these earlier. Oh, right, that's why. <laughs> Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, that is really bad then. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's gonna have to sit and heal a little bit. How much did we pay for this? Nothing. This, this is just what costs. So that is expensive as shit. We're just gonna let that heal over time in that case. Because that is too much money. Alright. Um, let's grab replenishment, I suppose. We do need that speed for the next time we fight that, but... Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that, it was that fight at first. But then also... I mean, we still... We would have won that if it wasn't for... For... Gorok. Just needed to hold on, but I guess we weren't fast enough So I think for the next time we are gonna need More cav stuff, so we want like horned ones and shit like that And yeah, we want that Grab that and grab that So yeah, we want horned one riders and stuff like that but it's okay. We'll, we'll bounce back. It's not going to be a problem. Oh! We're at Light Twitter now. Alright. Well, in that case... Uh, what can you get in Itza? Nothing. But that is probably the best place to get other stuff. Yeah, right. I'll put an outpost in Itza. Sure. I'm okay with that. And we got these guys too. So we got a bunch of vision in in here. What do you got? You need to do better next time. <laughs> I wish you could bring your own army. That would have been great. Ah oh, well. It's fine. We're gonna go and take this. We're gonna keep going and go north, take this out, and what exactly do we... There was another city here that we needed. Not you. Not that. Not that. We have that. We're actually halfway there. It's Chang Yang. Oh, okay, so we just need to go and take this. Excellent. Brutal business. Alright, that could have actually been helpful in that fight. <laughs> well, probably not. They were fighting Skaven too. Yeah, okay. This heals pretty quick, actually. So, we're, we're fine. So, honestly, I thought of that. We gift it. We keep moving. And... Uh, I want to upgrade this so we can get Croxigors. 
there a Croxigore building too, right? Because that's just one kind of Croxigore. Where's the rest of the Croxigores? Where's the normal Croxigores? Or I guess we can already... Oh, no, that's Razodons. <laughs> That could actually be good to have for for that fight. But yeah, I want the horned ones. These are excellent. And they they can actually do some work on those. But yeah, there's just... Oh, no, wait, there's the normal Croxigors. Okay. Right, so our cap is uh, broken because you're broken. That's why we can't get more Croxigors. But I still do want the... Next step in skink building. But do we want some more red crested or do we want some more chameleons? I do like the chameleons a lot. They have a lot less health. Which is a problem. But their... Their sneaky little volleys are pretty good. And they got really good melee defense. I just really like the chameleon stalkers. They're just... They're my favorite skinks. <laughs> they're the best. Alright, let's grab the Horde Growth, I guess. We're gonna need the speed. And... Oh, actually, something that would be good... Oh, we don't even get that! <laughs> we need the one that spawns uh, Feral Cold ones just... Wherever, but... Uh, I think the Rite of Rebirth is switched for us, because we don't get that... Uh, that Savage Army. Or Feral Army. Alright, and now this would cost 5,000. Okay, we will just... We just let this heal on its own. And it'll be done really quick. But, these are leveling nicely, I think. We're gonna get a Pterodon real soon. And uh, then they're pretty close to the Stegodons. But, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. You're messing with my guys. I don't like that. But, yeah, there's no way you can do anything to that garrison. I guess the other army can, but they're about to have a rebellion. But yeah, next episode we're gonna finish you off, because that I seems like your last one. Way. And then we're gonna start fighting Skaven, I think, and start working our way in here. And probably fight some more Cathay, and some Dark Elves. Although, we might not get to the Dark Elves next episode, but we are gonna get to the Skaven next episode. So, hope to see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.